what's the top three things to look out for in a commercial property transaction so that you're buying value, adding value, and uh, you create cash flow day one. What are those three things? Let's dive in today and look at that. So um, in terms of exponential growth, it's also an area that far, uh, you know, it's far superior than residential uh, because there's a, a huge number of ways because of the creative space, a huge number of ways to actually add value in commercial property. We talked about very quickly, one of the deals a private client's just done um, that I'm sure we're going to go from 300,000 to 360. Um, we've got one value at 330 already, but I'm, I'm sure as a worst case, we'll get 360 to be honest. Which, if you think of that, within 68 weeks, well, within two weeks it was agreed, and probably the lawyers will take 68 weeks, something like that, to increase the value by 60,000 pounds without doing any work, any refurbs, and it's all basically having a chat and a coffee. That, that's, you know, pretty incredible, and you just can't do that in residential unless you combine commercial strategies with residential that we'll maybe touch on uh, later in this presentation. So another uh, huge area for um, adding value is in England, you know, PD, permitted development or prior approval as most people call it. And um, one of the case studies will show a uh, highlight that despite we've never taken advantage of it in that uh, case study for a private client's done for 300,000, we can actually put in three two bed flats and we'll tell you why we're not doing that very soon. Um, but one of my most exciting things is when you start to box a brand. Now, this doesn't have to be your first strategy because it's, uh, it's not the easiest and it's certainly not the quickest, um, but it's really boxing your brands are all about fundamentally changing one thing and that is how a property is valued. Um, from vacant possession plus a high street brand turns it from a vacant possession value to an investment value and that can really accelerate values. Uh, and that one in Perth, for example, um, you know, it costs 250 and it's worth uh, somewhere between 530 and 570, you know, just by securing a tenant on a 15 year lease, which is awesome. Um, in fact, point D really highlights um, this investment value, or I call it yield compression. So, on, on the same property, on the same rental at 50,000 pounds, depending on which tenant you have, small one man band or a high street brand your values can be anything between 333,000 and 833,000. So on the same property, on the same 50,000 pound rent, then the value of that property can be half a million pound adrift, depending on which tenant you secure and on which terms, which that is a seriously important point to bear in mind. And, and because of that, which is called yield compression, um, you can, increase values, multiples of values between two and 10 times. We'll show you in the case studies, one at two, we'll show you one at 10. And it's quite incredible. Uh, but that's private client, he's second commercial property now and he's, he's increased the property by probably 60K, somewhere in that range. On a good day, it's 100,000 increase. On a bad day, I think it's gonna be 60K. And that's without any refurbs, any anything, just by doing simple lease work that anybody can do. 